There are some big celebrations happening in the little town of Aneta. It is the 60th Turkey Barbecue and Rhubarb Fest, and the community is also celebrating 125 years. It's a Can't Miss event, and joining us today to tell us about it, we have Karen Retzlaff. Welcome, Karen. Hi. How are you? Did I say that last name correctly? Close enough. Close enough. That's <laughs> good. I'm so sorry. I've gone through so many pronunciations. I mean, it beats my maiden name, so we're good. Okay, okay. So for 60 years, Annetta has been having the turkey barbecue and rhubarb fest. And, and I, you know, mm -hmm. we were talking, of course, backstage. And uh, this is a big deal. Well, yeah. And your husband's a big deal. Well. <laughs> He's the head turkey now. He's, I thought you were going to say he's a big turkey. Anyway, well, that too. That too. So, okay, so this is a big, this event is a big deal. You've been doing this obviously for 60 years. Right. So tell us how it got started and what it's all about. Well, it began before I moved into Aneta. Um, it began in 1961. Uh, Aneta used to be a big turkey producing area. And uh, the farmers were being treated to turkey um, meals by the producers that they were producing for. I mm -hmm. mean, it makes mm -hmm. sense, right? Yeah, right. Anyway, it was only for the turkey farmers. And then when the turkey business started to go down, they, um, the Booster Club, which is kind of a community organization, um, decided that they should put this on too. And so in 1961, I'm not sure if the Booster Club was the first, if that was the first time the Booster Club did it, or if that was when it actually started. But um, 1961 was the very first one that we started counting from. And of course, last year, with COVID, no barbecue. So the 60th right. actually got moved to this year. To this year. Okay, that makes and, sense. And um, the rhubarb tasting thing, I know you mentioned that earlier. That started about five years ago. Okay. So it's not quite the oh, 60th sure. for, uh, rhubarb tasting. Okay. Um, roughly at this point, I think there are 312 turkeys coming tomorrow. Serious. Serious. Wow. And on, let me think now how this goes. On Friday night, they are ready to marinate. They have been injected. Uh, thawed first, obviously. Right, yes. And then they are injected with the super secret sauce, which is not so secret because NDSU developed it for us. <laughs> and um, it was uh, on a piece of, there was a big deal too. There was a uh, lawsuit threatened by a company that said that Annetta had stolen the recipe. Didn't happen that way. <laughs> recipe um, <laughs> thieves. Oh my. The fellow that, um, got the recipe from NDSU, pulled out a very tattered, ugly looking piece of paper that had the recipe with NDSU on it, and the lawsuit never actually happened. Okay, well that's good, I'm glad that it did it. <laughs> so you said there's a lot of, you know, we've got a lot of turkeys coming, mm -hmm. so of course it's a turkey barbecue, um, and then adding the rhubarb to that. And that's on Friday, okay. so it's not on the same day. Okay. And I know we're going to, we'll put that schedule that you have um, oh, good. up on our North Dakota Today uh, Facebook page okay. for sure, because that way people can do that. But why is this such a big deal for your community? Well, it's been going on for a long time, and we do get an awful lot of people involved. And we also get people from outside the community involved. For example, um, my husband's sister comes in with her husband from Maine every year for the barbecue. The one year she missed, her husband said she was impossible to live with. Oh. She was rather testy, okay. shall we say. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he said from that point on, come hell or high water, pardon the French, uh -huh. they were coming for the barbecue. Yeah. And so last year was really a sad day because no barbecue, right. um, no relatives coming in. Uh, it was, you know, it was kind of tough. It was sad, I'm sure. Well, yeah, because it is masks. like a family. It's probably, you know, it's a small town, so it's like a family reunion, really, because you're all so tight. But, okay, right. so there is, there is I mean, there's a tractor pull, there mm -hmm. is parades, and we saw, you know, some of the pictures going up. Of course, the, you know, there's beer gardens, there's, yep. <laughs> sorry, I had to throw <laughs> that in. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, there's just so, so much going on all weekend long, and it right. starts, like you said, on a Friday. Well, actually, if you really start to count, it starts Thursday night with an Look. alumni 
basketball game. Oh, a basketball game. I mean, wow. these old guys are running around on the, <laughs> on the gym floor. I bet and you that's we have the EMTs ready. <laughs> yes, okay. <good>. I'm glad. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad. that's what starts it. Friday, we have the rhubarb tasting. Friday night, there is a talent show with local or area talent. Um, Saturday morning, things start really hopping. We have a pancake breakfast at our uh, Lutheran church from 7.30 to 10, and by about 10 o'clock, the turkeys are ready to go on to the spit okay. because they've been injected, they've marinated, they are put on the spit and carried off to the park, and they're under about, a, I think uh, my husband told me, 2,000 pounds of charcoal or something wow. like that. Wow, wow. Anyway, they are roasting from 10 till about 4, and by four o'clock, they're ready to eat. Okay. And at that point, people start coming from everywhere, from the arts and crafts show, which has been going on since roughly 11 o'clock. Uh, the tractor pull is in the afternoon. There are games for the kids. Uh, we'll have a big parade. It starts at two. We're hoping to get done in a reasonable amount of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be serving until roughly 7.30. Well, it sounds like it's an amazing event, and so for people that want to get up there, it's about three hours north of us, right? No. Or, or I'm two. Two hours. Okay, it's sorry. about 100 miles from Anetta. Fargo. Oh, 100 miles. That's right. You did say that. So about 100 miles. So anybody that wants to go partake in that event, when is the event taking place? Well, which one? <laughs> <laughs> well, the big the big the barbecue big weekend barbecue is starts, starts at four thirty Saturday. Okay, the barbecue itself okay um, runs till like I say about seven thirty. Sometimes until the turkey is gone. Okay. We have our 125th anniversary of our town at this weekend as well. Uh -huh. So we're expecting anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000 people. And the town wow. itself has roughly 200 if you count the nursing home residents. I love it. Karen, thank you so much for driving down here to be with us today. It was my pleasure. Have an awesome time this weekend with all your family and friends. <sighs> we sure hope so. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Coming up on today's show, some big changes to the Taco John's menu. You don't want to miss it.